Hi, everybody. I got a question the other day on YouTube uh, and my Google account asking some questions, and I figured it would probably be best to answer on video. Um, I haven't prepared an answer, but um, I'm going to answer this off the cuff. So here's, here's sort of, there's a several questions, but I'll go along and answer as, as the questions arise, because there's a bunch of questions. All right, so um, people are always labeling others, which I know is wrong, but they tend to think that all dancers are gay. Is it true? Um, absolutely not. <laughs> um, I think there's sort of a, a real misconception about dance and dancing, and it's just always been considered sort of a, sort of an effeminate thing, wearing tights and that sort of thing. So even in the, in the, in the past, perhaps when there maybe were more dancers that were gay than now, uh, it, it just was a stereotype that I think was perpetrated by people who had issues with their own sexuality and their own masculinity and, and had to uh, sort of think of it as sort of a, a gay thing to be a dancer. And, you know, back in the day when dance was really focused around ballet, it definitely was more of a woman's world. Um, but now, no, that is not the case at all. In fact, the majority of dancers that I around in Los Angeles uh, in the commercial world are straight. And that is mostly, I think, due to um, hip hop and, uh, and dance really being more of a sport, honestly. It's a freaking Olympic sport. These kids are spitting on their heads and, I mean, <laughs> twirling around and flying in the air like, I mean, like world-class gymnasts. So I don't think, uh, it's certainly not in any way an effeminate sort of thing. Um, but uh, there is, yes, there is a lot of a lot of gay dancers, and I think there's a lot of just gay people in general in the entertainment industry. Um, I think being an entertainer and being a creative spirit, you kind of have to have a connection with yourself. That's true, um, and I find that a lot of gay people have gone through uh, that self reflection and that growth for themselves because they've kind of had to accept themselves as perhaps an outsider or someone who's different and really had to sort of champion themselves and their differences and 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 champion those as their advantages rather than a disadvantage so um especially dancers dancers are so in touch with their body and their sexuality everything about dance um even technical stuff it comes it lifts from from your groin it comes from a very primal place and it's a very uh it's a very uh visceral language that dancers have. So I feel like uh, more than anyone out there, dancers are often very aware of their sexuality and their sexual proclivities um, and their interests and sensuality. Um, it has to, you have to be in order to portray that and share that and, and express that. Um, let's see. <laughs> so he continues, I am 100% for gay people, but is it true? I mean, but, why would you say but? If you're 100% for gay people, why would you say but is it true? Um, or why would you even bring that up? That's, that's an odd sort of <laughs> like aside to say. Um, do you have any ideas why people generalize and say they, are, they all are gay? Well, yeah, because dance is an art. It's an expressive art. Expressive arts have always been sort of, well, in, I guess I'm sorry, not always. Uh, in many people's eyes, They've been expressive arts have been seen as effeminate. You know, when you're connecting to, to emotion, um, that is something that people may often see, or in the past have seen, as being something to to to, to hide or or suppress, um, and that it's not masculine. It's not a manly thing to do. Like the manly arts. What are the manly arts? You know, like what is that? Like like what? Horseback riding, carpentry. I I've, I mean, it just it's boggles the mind. Um, so they say, and if there are straight dancers and they have to perform a choreography with someone who's gay and the dance includes touching, how do they act? Oh my gosh. <laughs> do they even do the presentation? Oh my god. Um, why, if you're straight, would you ever have an issue touching a gay person or being nearby a gay person or doing a piece with a gay person, even if it deals with gay subject matter? Why would you even have an, ever have an issue with it unless you yourself had issues with being gay? Or if you were very secure in yourself being straight, why would you ever have an issue doing anything that seemed remotely gay? You know you're straight. Why would it matter what anyone else thinks? Do you even do the presentation? I mean, that's almost insulting, I think. I mean, presentation and dances are, dance is an, ex, is, is an art. 
it's it's an expressive art form. It's just like any art, it can challenge, it can provoke, it can question. Um, just because you are in a dance piece doesn't mean that the dance piece is about you. Just know whatever the message is of the piece. If you are unwilling to be a part of the message or agree with the message, I mean, you shouldn't even have an issue with agreeing with it or not. It's not really your place unless you're doing it for free and you've been asked to do a piece. Um, you are not, it is not you in the dance piece. In a, in, an, in, a, in, a, in a very real sense it is, but in an in a, in a, in the abstract performance sense, it is not you. You are a piece of a conversation that the choreographer is having. I mean, you are an interpreter, you are a voice, but your words are not your own. So just like in acting, you know, you are reading a monologue. That's a character. Just because you are not gay doesn't mean that you have to play non-gay characters. Like, it's just sort of insulting to the value of, of everyone's humanity and person and personalities. Um, it all has value. There's no reason why you would ever say no. I, I, I don't think I've ever run across a dancer who said, no, I don't do that because it's gay. I've run across some people who have stepped out of things because they felt like it, it w went against the religious principles, and not in a gay sense, but in the religious principles in the sense that too much nudity or... Um, they didn't like being in a scene that portrayed prostitutes or drugs. Um, but I've never heard of anyone having issues with, uh, with gay-related issues or gay-related things. Um, all right, so here, then you move on. Um, it says, it's a uh, there's so much about the dancer world, dancer's world that I know nothing about and have no real experience with it and not to ask my questions. It is all a complete blur, blur for me. Um, and as I watched your video about being underpaid as a dancer, it was devastating. But it's better to know the truth as soon as possible. Um, you know, dancers are underpaid. You know, even at the top of your game, you're not going to earn anything compared to anyone else on the top of their game. Um, but that's, that said, dance is a reward in and of itself. Uh, you do, I think most dancers don't dance because they want to be famous. Some dancers dance just because they want to be in some fancy music video or they want to live a fantasy of being a pop, with a pop star or something. But the majority of people that I know that dance, especially the ones that have careers about around it, um, it just is who you are. It is your language. How could you cut off your language or how could you... It's how could you just deny who you are? And that's really what dances to the, the dancers who are out there working. It's their lives. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's sad sometimes that people sort of look at dance as a sort of secondary art. And, and it, it really is sort of this unsung, unrewarded love, like from the soul, like really from the soul that people feel compelled to do. Um, and I know I'm not even working right now as a dancer, and I'm like I'm out taking class all the time, because I have to, and my heart hurts when I don't. Like literally, I just feel un I feel incomplete. So just know that if you are going to pursue it as a career, first of all, you can't get in your head about it and say I'm not good enough, or I, this won't happen, or I'm not going to do it if it doesn't pay me money. If that's really what your your end game is about being a dancer, then you should not be doing it for sure, um, because you may end up there's companies that people get paid, you know, three hundred, four hundred dollars a week and they're living in like New York, where you have to live with five other people in one apartment and you can't eat. Like it's not for the faint of heart. Dance you have to love dance to do it. So just know if you if you really are in love with dance and want to do it as a career, then do it with all your heart and all your soul. And and know that you can't expect anything in return. You have to do it for the love of doing it. So um that said, good luck, follow your heart. If you love dance, always dance. Like if you love reading, always read. If you love learning, always learn. Do what you love. And if you love it, do it and try to make a living at it. There's many ways to add your creativity. Don't stop yourself before you start. Don't stop yourself before you start. Get out there, go do something big. Be creative and follow your own path because there's only one you and you're the only one of you that there are. All right, does that answer your question? All right, thanks. If you guys want to ask me any other questions, I'm, I love 
answering. I think it's very interesting to have conversations with um, with people that I don't know on these sites, and um, I appreciate all of your attentions and, and likes and shares and blah blah blah. And um, it's 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 fun for me to make a difference for you. So let me know if this helped in any way, and ask me any any other questions you have. Bye.